Right, hiya, this is lesson two of the A2 radium pack. Um, all the stuff that you've done before with degrees you can do, so sine rule, cosine rule, area of a non-right angle triangle, we can do. Um, it's interesting though, I kind of like want to add a little bit to this. Um, if you have, like this area of the triangle, this bit here, the R value is the same, so the area of that little bit, using a half AB sine C, because A and B are the radius, you can write it as a half R squared sine theta. Now the issue comes, that's what we used to tell you, just that that's a half R squared sine theta. Uh, and then if you wanted the segment, then you just did the whole area of the sector, which is a half r squared theta, minus the area of the triangle, half r squared sine theta. So that was your segment. So you just did the sector take away the triangle. Now that's great, we've got a few questions. This is, this is fine. If it looks like that. We've had a few questions recently. So I'm drawing. Now I've got my center, I've got my R, but the triangle's gone like that. So it isn't actually a segment, not technically a segment. So that'd be an R, and that'd be like an A value. And then I'd just do the half R squared theta for the whole sector and I'd take away the triangle. So if I want this segment here, then that would be a half AB sine theta. Well, you kind of make sure you've got the right one. So it's a slight difference. This one here, it's on the chord, so it's a definite tennis trap for orange segment. Here it's proper offset. You're just trying to work out that area. But it's been more of them, more of these ones, than these ones recently. So we just have to be careful what the picture looks like. Uh, if it's a change of the sign, it's not moving. Go on. Right, so let's do a couple of questions then. So it says, uh, the diagram shows O to A to B. Um, it says the angle is 7 pi over 9. Find the perimeter. Oh, well, that's easy enough then. Because the perimeter will be an R. It will be an R. And it'll be the length, which is r theta. Uh, primitive. Oh no, hang on, I don't want the this the segment that's shaded. That's not at all, is it? God blind it. I want the length from a to b, is what I want. Right, so what I want is that length from a to b there, and then I want the r theta bit on top of it. So the length from a to b will be using with the cosine rule. Because I know, hang on, we draw a better picture. So it looks like it. So I know that that's 7, I know that that's 7, I know that that angle is 7 pi over 9. So this is A and B. So A, B squared is 7 squared, that's 7 squared, minus 2 times 7 times 7. So because of 7 pi over 9, that needs to be in radians, and that should give you an answer when you work it out of about 13.156 centimetres. There. Right now then, to my perimeter then, so the perimeter of the segment will be the 13.156, that length from A to B, which I've got, plus R times theta, plus 7 times 7 pi over 9. So the area of that segment, or sorry, the perimeter of the segment, I've gone on, I should give up really, I just go on. So that perimeter is about 30.3 centimetres. Yeah. So that worked out the, the distance around the shaded bit. Eventually. 
So then part two says the area of the second shaded. Okay, so this is more straightforward then. So if you look, A and B are definitely on the chord. So because of that, the area of the segment will be the area of the sector, which is a half r squared theta, minus the area of the triangle, which because it's on the, on the chord, will be a half r squared sine theta. So it's a half times 7 squared times 7 pi over 9 plus, oh, sorry, my, oh, God. Uh, everything's going wrong sometimes. Minus a half of, I haven't got any other time to record this, so I've got to keep on going. Sorry, everyone. 7 pi over 9. There. So I'm doing the sector minus the triangle. Because the triangle's on the chord, it half a b bit, the a and the b inside. Now, according to the completed pack, that gives me roughly 44.1 centimetres squared. And I'll double check it in class to make sure you get what I'm saying. So there's one for you. So it's the area of the shaded bit. So we want to do it as the segment minus the triangle. And if you look, it's the chord, so it's just a half r squared theta minus a half r squared sine theta. And that gives us roughly 6.28 centimetres squared. Do you know what? That's our lesson. That's not too bad, is it? There's a load of loads, loads and loads of stuff on the next post practice. Right, I'm done. <laughs> Bye.